it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, I'm going to share with you how to generate an invoice where customer, your customer will be paying it down each month, but you'll also be charging them a finance charge or interest every month for the balance remaining. How would you do that? And then how do you send them a statement each month so that they know how much their balance is and their current interest? So come look over my shoulder. So the first step is to go in and actually create an invoice. So we're gonna go under create invoice. And the reason we use create invoice versus sales receipts or, or putting the income directly in is because we wanna be able to apply a payment. So by using create invoices, it allows you to have a accounts receivable available to apply payments to. So we're gonna go down and we're gonna, you're gonna put in your customer, whatever their name is and their information. And then you're gonna go down and you could call this commission if you want. So in the example I'm using, it would be a realtor who sold a piece of property and was supposed to pay be paid a commission and went under an agreement to get paid payments or installments. So we're gonna create commission and we're gonna add that and we can do it as an other charge and you're gonna choose your income account that you want. So commission is non-taxable. You can choose to put a description if you want. And then we are going to do, we'll just do it under sales. Typically, depending on how many different types of categories of income you have, this is this that you select here is what's gonna actually show up on your profit and loss. So we'll click okay. And we just created a new item. So you could say 4567 Main Street, Um, and you would just put in agreement and all the details and this is what's actually going to show up to the customer later So let's just say that the uh, amount was $5,000 and that would be your invoice So we're gonna hit save and close We're not gonna worry about classes in today's how-to I'm gonna go into reports company financial profit and loss standard and you'll notice that this report is pulling up on cash basis, so it's not showing up. But if I go up under customized reports, change it to accrual basis, you'll notice there's the $5,000 in sales. So what will happen if you're on cash basis is as the person makes payments, they would show up. So what you would do is at the end of the month, so let's say that we are at the end of the month, we will pick Ron, he hasn't made any payments yet. We're gonna say as of the 31st, we're gonna charge him interest on the amount of commission he hasn't paid us yet. We're gonna consider that interest income. We'll do that as an other charge. And you can decide if you want it to be up in your regular income or if you want the interest down in other income. And you could have interest income here. So when you, if you don't have interest income, you would add a new one. And then you could choose other, either other income or go to the top and choose regular income when you're creating it. And we're gonna click okay. And here it would say interest charges or whatever you wanna call it. September 9th through September 30th, 2015. And then you'd figure out whatever your interest is. I'm just gonna give an example. You know, if you wanted, you could say actually in here, interest charges on a balance of $5,000 at, let's just say 5%. I'm not worry, gonna worry all about the amortization but we could put equals $250 and that would be for that time frame. You can choose to put this wherever you want. If you wanna move it up, you can move it. You know, decide what, what looks best to you to create here. And then let's do the 250. And what that will do, I'll show you what it'll look like. You'll just have interest charges, the date of a balance, and the dollar amount. You can also do as of and the date, like as of interest interest charges for the balance as of 
$9.30, $5,000, whatever you want to do. It doesn't really matter. I'm just teaching you the technique. So you hit save and close. We're going to save it without that. So now what's happened if we go into the customer center and we look at Ron, we have the $5,000 original and the two fifty dollars interest. So then what you're going to want to do is we're going to go in and we're going to run a statement. And on this statement, we're going to choose transactions until September 30th, statement dated September 30th. You can choose your one specific customer. And then over here, this is what's going to look like if you don't change anything. It'll look like this and it has like bounce checks. These are different things I've I've done through teaching QuickBooks for you guys. But what I would do is we'll go through September 9th. Let's just say, you know, in case there's other stuff in there. We're gonna show show invoice statements and then we'll preview it. So what this is gonna show you, don't worry about the balance forward. Typically you wouldn't have that. In this example, we're showing commission, $5,000. And then we're showing interest of 250 and the dollar amount. So what this would allow, you could send your person the statement at the end of the month. And if they make a payment, it will show the payment in here on each month's statement. So again, what you're going to do is create an invoice for the full amount that they owe you. Then you're going to create an, an additional invoice each month that's just the interest. And what will happen is month after month after month, you'll show principal, you would then apply the payment. So if you got a payment from them, let's just do an example, I'll show you real quick. If you had Ron, let's say they paid $750 on October 1st. We're gonna uncheck anything else that's in here. The easiest way to do it is first apply the interest, then click on the amount of principal basically that they owe you. And then you're going to leave the underpayment and you're going to save and close. And then at the, and then you go in and at the end of the month, you're going to look and say, okay, they owe us $4,500 on that particular invoice, create an additional interest income. So you could go in, create another invoice dated October 31st, interest income. And then you could choose I'm going to actually click save and close real quick. What I like to do is try to stay consistent on my invoices. So what I would do is go back in, pull up my original invoice, copy exactly what I wrote. Then I go back into the other one, put that in there, interest. And this is where balance of now it's going to be $4,500 at 5% will be $225. Click that, save and close it. And then when you go in to create statements, you can create a statement here on the home page. We're gonna do the 9th through October 31st. You can see what it looked like. This would be a complete month of what you would do. If they make an extra payment, the extra payment beyond principal will go just direct or beyond interest will go directly to principal. And then we're going to click preview. This is what it would look like. So your statement would be dated October 31st. And it would show, you wouldn't have a balance for it on yours, but it would show you $5,000. This would say 5000 Then you'd have your $250 interest, your payment, and then an additional invoice for the new interest. And it would just keep going on and on and on. And then whenever you choose to pick whatever dates you pick here is all the detail it's going to give you. So I hope that was beneficial for you. I had had that question, how do I create an invoice? And then they make payments, but then do I do a new invoice every month or how do I do that? And then what's going to happen on your profit and loss, just so you can see the whole picture, because I'm all about the whole picture. If we go through October 31st, you will see your sales here of how much they actually made in principal. So that's the principal that was paid down. And then down here, you will see your interest income. Now, because this is cash basis, it's only giving you the amount they paid. If you change this to accrual basis, it will show you the whole amount, 
all the whole sales and the whole interest as the interest because you keep getting paid interest each month so that's income to you each month i hope this has been beneficial if you know somebody who could benefit from it please share it and i will talk to you guys again next week i am loving the questions so please if you want me to create a video for you don't hesitate to ask me a question i love them and confidence with quickbooks is i'm doing my first webinar this week you are welcome to join me live and ask me questions live. If you want to find out more, feel free to check out quickbooks.com and Candace Camper. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.